Hello, uh, welcome to video number six. All right, the title of this video is uh, Interladder Diagram Routine Logic. All right, just in case yeah, if you curious about the title, all right, this is the title I borrow from the original RS Logic 5000 start page video, uh, start page video and tutorials, all right. Uh, I guess the name of this, um, if it uh, sounds a little bit strange to you, uh, let me explain that to you. All right. So um, within the program, right? So you can create routines like this one underneath the main program. Uh, I'll zoom in that you to look better on this one. Uh, on, on here. Uh, so we have a main program, then we have a main routine from this icon. If you look closer, the icon, even though it's very small, it shows a ladder. It's like a, you, you can see the vertical rail and the horizontal rungs. All right. It also has a, a little bit uh, add on on top is number one. That means this is the main routine. All right. Uh, if you only name that as main routine, that doesn't count. You have to set up that. All right. So, like for example, over here, with Another program, if you right click, that this actually is uh, the content of another video, right? But I can do it now. So when you add a new routine, you have to do it offline, right? When you do it offline, you have this choice assignment. So you can assign to a non just regular routine or main routine, right? This is main routine. You can call that my main, right? So. Just that you know that uh, uh, you can create on this. You can see here my main with number one on that, right? And uh, over here, uh, if you need to create another routine, when you add the second one, the assignment on here, you cannot assign main routine anymore, main and anymore, right? Because you already had one main routine, and. Uh, to answer that question with the title, you can see here the type, because not only you can program PLC by using letter diagram, you can see here letter diagram, right? You have other choice. For example, you can use the sequential function uh, function chart, right? Uh, other choice over here, right? That that's for example, you can see here it has a different icon picture. You can create that, right? So uh, you can call that R one something like that, all right? So when you do this, you can see here, right? You create a different routine and the icon is different. Like just uh, if you're curious that if you want, happen to want switch, you want to set up R1 as the main. And my main is this regular routine that switch the, uh, the role of these two routines. You can do that by set up the property from the program because program is one level above routine. Remember task, program, routine, right? You just need to right click the program and go into a property. There's a property at the bottom. You choose property and it's configuration. Over here, there's a choice. Currently it's my main. You can choose R1 if you want. When you do that, click OK. You can see you switch that R1 as main. This my main become a regular Ladder logic routine, all right? Just a, a little bit of sidetrack, all right? So that you know that uh, you can do the uh, a different type of programming, all right? Also, I want to explain the title of uh, of this video. Why do they call the uh, list name on the title, right? So now you understand ladder diagram is only one type of routine. Right. With routine, you can design the logic using different ways of programming, right? But ladder logic, it's the uh, more po uh, popular, right? We'll focus on that first. Uh, in my opinion, I, I just prefer to use interladder logic, right? So that's uh, what we prefer to use. So within this video, I want to demonstrate a few techniques, all right? First, how to add instructions. Then how do you modify instructions yeah, if you want to change, right? And then the other aspect of the instruction is to add and delete branches, right? So let's start with that. 
First, when you add instructions, you have many ways to do it. You can choose, uh, depends on your personal uh, choice, uh, if you want, all right. So uh, in order to, uh, I'll just delete this, sorry. So delete this and then, uh, yeah, just leave it, delete on there, yeah. Okay, let's just focus on this, all right? Going to the main program, main routine, all right? So in order to demonstrate the instructions. So if you look at this, too small, you can go in to zoom in, or you, or you can control, roll in the mouse, you can zoom in that, that make it bigger to look at it. So the first way, I mean, see here from toolbar, right? From toolbar, what I mean is this, remember from the first video, this is language element toolbar, right? So currently you, you are in the group of favors, right? There other groups, right? So if you click the button on this, you can scroll and then see all the groups, right? Within each group, right now, when you click favorites, you have all this. And then if you click, uh, for example, alarm, there'll be a different one, right? Timer counter, different instruction. Bit, that's the other one, different, right? So if uh, normally we can just choose the favorites, that right? because that's a more, uh, more common, we use that. So first way to, to add instruction is you can see here, right? So when you move your cursor among those instructions, they give you two tab, right? That's called two tab. Give you the name, exam on, exam off, uh, output energize, right? You can just keep click, clicking them, right? Once you click them, they can add them one by one, right? So you just need to click from there, right? So that's very easy uh, to uh, add in here, right? So if you want delete, just highlight delete, delete, and click delete key on there, right? I already, yeah, I already demonstrated this, how to modify delete, right? So the second way on here, you can see from the uh, toolbar, uh, you can drag and drop. So when you drag and drop, you, I want you to pay attention. There are two different kinds of spots available. One is gray, the other one is green. Uh, gray, that means the, uh, Gray, that means the uh, available spot, valid spot. And then the green means you currently select this spot. If you drop it, that's gonna drop on that location, all right? In order to demonstrate on that, I have to add some uh, instructions, all right, uh, here. So for example, if I want to add this large instruction, right? just for example, I want add this in between these two instructions, I can click and start to move to the letter logic. You can see here, you have a gray uh, box, right? Or you can have the green dot. The green dot, that means the, the, the current dropping spot. All the gray box indicate where you can drop. Right? You can even drop after the OTE. Right. So for example, if I want to insert in between, right, when this spot become green, I can release and then it dropped in between on there. Right. So that's the second way to insert insert instructions. Right. So in this way you can do lots choice, right? You can target it to whatever you wherever you want. You can just drag and drop the instruction you want. Uh, you can add more rounds on here, right? So that is second round. Now I want to demonstrate how do you enter instruction names, right? So you highlight here, you're on the round number one. You can start to type in instruction names if you if you know them, right? So for example, I start to type in my XIC, when I type in, notice here, right? So that's the name of instruction, space XIO, space O-T-E, right? So I don't even take care of the, uh, the capital or lowercase. When I enter it, you can see here, right? This is X-I-C, this is X-I-O, this is O-T-E. That's exactly what I entered, right? So this is the, the other way to enter the instructions for one wrong, right? So if you are familiar with their uh, names, um, copy paste, right? Just like the uh, word, uh, document, right? It's a very common transferable uh, technique, right? Uh, copy, right? You can select uh, copy and uh, 
I'll, I'll paste to a special, yeah, uh, on here. You can see here, I paste down here. So copy paste will also work with uh, the line logic on here, right? So this is how do you add instructions. Then when you try to modify it, right? Modify the existing one, you can delete, I already show that, right? You can highlight, press delete key and that. Then you can change instruction name or reselect. All right, I can demonstrate it by that. So uh, this right now it's XIC, right? Uh, I can, if I double click, it shows XIC, right? I can type in XIO, turn it to exam off, right? So if you know the name, right? So if you, uh, happen to uh, happen to uh, happen uh, very familiar with the name right now it says a large OTU you can see here drop down when you click drop down if you want to change to XIC exam on you can select from here double click then that change all right so that's uh, how can you change the, the name on here you can also use the uh, this technique to get other instructions right for example i can just uh, for example i drop on here now i want to do the uh, integer instruction right for example i want to add two numbers together i, I can add uh, add notice here it, the add instruction is not available under this favorite right so i have i have to scroll down to find the mass instructions. That's one way to do it, but I can directly use the technique I just talked about, change the instruction name. When I press enter, you can see here, right? The ADD instruction added on there directly, right? So that's one quick way. If you uh, don't want like scroll down here, you can see here, if you go down here you will find add right if you do it on here drop it you can see that's the second one right so that's one way to do it the other way is that i can even change this to sub right i can go into different category directly so i don't have to scroll on the top right so you can see here right so add on here so that is the other way to do it you can also relocate the instructions. The other way to modify that, right? You, you can relocate by drag and drop. So they are very convenient techniques, right? So if you want to add a output energize at the end, not add, all right? So change that to there. You can just add on there, right? So if you want to get this large at the end of the run, you can do this, right? Directly drag from here to here, right? Just pay attention. Uh, when you drag it, you need to click the instruction, right? Not here, because you are dragging the, the, the tag right now, right? If you click on the, only the top, right? So you can also do this on here. You can see here, you can drag them around. Notice you have to drag the instruction name, right? Next level, uh, next topic, uh, add and uh, add uh, levels on the branches right so parallel branches is something you have to add from time to time right so that's parallel branch so whenever you add a branch on there you can either drag the lag of the parallel branch right you can also drag back oh sorry you can also do that you can also drag your instruction into that you see what I mean? So uh, you can do all kinds of different ways to do that, all right? So for example, if you want to have a parallel output on here, you can click on here, then you can drag the lag to here. Then you can start at another, or you can even move this latch on here if you want, right? So this is how do you add branch on there. Then if you want to extend branch level, for example, over here, you have one level, you want to add another one. If you do this way, that's not very good on here because learn the branch level not lighting up. You can see here, right? It's not good, right? You can delete it by click the corner, then just delete, right? Then you can click, click the corner, same thing here. You can choose 
the add level, and that will light up the lag from left to right. So you can use here. Then you, if you go back to favorite, right? So you can just add more instructions. When you add more instructions, it will extend the level, right? So you can do whatever you need to do with the editing. All right, so uh, this is basic demonstration on how do you edit those instructions. And there's a reminder here. So remember, you need to assign the tag to the instruction. The question mark indicates that it's invalid, right? All those question marks need to be filled with tag name, right? With all of, with the question mark, you cannot download to the PLC. It's invalid, right? And also on the next video, I, I'm going to talk about how do you handle with the assignment of the tag. You just need to pay attention here. You have two parts, right? The instruction, right? Or the uh, tag, right? So you can see here when you drag this, that doesn't happen with the instruction because you're only dragging the upper part. Right? If you want to drag the instruction, you need to click the instruction and then drag that. There's, there are two parts on each unit. All right. So I'll explain more uh, at the next uh, video. I right. uh, see you there.